Hello, here we are today about to go on a covered bridge tour. I'm sitting here in front of the Lancaster County Visitor Center in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. There's quite a few bridges in Pennsylvania, uh, a multiple of kind of guided tours. You can come here and get the printed out uh, guided directions and follow around. The roads are, are very well marked and you can't miss the bridges. So let's follow along and uh, take the tour. We're gonna see the what's called the Lidditz Countryside in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. Thank you, let's go. Here we are, uh, Hun Sickers Mill Bridge. Sickers Mill Covered Bridge was built in 1848, it is the longest single span covered bridge in the country at 180 feet long. It was rebuilt in 1973 after rising waters from Hurricane Agnes lifted it from the abutments and carried it downstream. Seems like a very well used uh, one of the covered bridges. Nice running creek underneath. It is amazing some of the uh, the massive structure of these bridges and the supports. I do like these little windows. This is a very popular bridge. Very well used. actually be able to get down to the water from here.
Also, you will see there is a significance to the bridges being painted red. I'm not real sure why this one's not red. But this is one of the bridges on the tour. Let's go see the next. So here next on the tour is the Pine Town Covered Bridge. This bridge was built in 1867. It's number 14 on the covered bridge list for Pennsylvania. It was washed off its base by the floodwaters of Hurricane Agnes in 1972. The following spring, nearby Amish workers rebuilt the bridge, raising it to 17 and a half feet above the average water level to avoid future damage. The bridge was severely damaged by floods in se September 2011. Rebuilt and raised again. It's another popular bridge. It's well used. A lot of people like to tour these bridges. Let's walk across. <laughs> Let's see if we can get down to the uh, creek side, get a more broad view of the of the bridge from down below. Here you can see some of the construction photos.
All right, so that's the Pine Town covered bridge. You will notice it is actually painted red with this one. Oh, we'll go on to the next one. Here we are on the next covered bridge list on the tour. This is the Zooks Mill Covered Bridge, also known as the Wingers or Wingers Covered Mill uh, Covered Bridge. Uh, this bridge was built in 1849, which is number 15 of the covered bridges in Pennsylvania. During the flooding of Hurricane Agnes, the water rose six feet above the bridge floor. But didn't damage the bridge actually itself. The bridge still sits 11 feet over the creek, over the water. It's normal level. These are all very well used um, historical landmarks. So you can tell here. June 1972, Hurricane Agnes. That was the water level, which is probably about halfway up the bridge. That was some quite significant floodwaters. Yeah, I guess it says uh, this bridge itself is 74 feet long. Cabin Road and Rose Hill Road. It's a nice view all the way around the bridge. There's always really nice houses, very well kept around these bridges. Very popular tourist attractions, so you know, I guess you want to have the best appearance for the area. Lots of farms. Uh, looks like that is a dairy farm, maybe. Here's somewhat of the story. Let's try to get a more broad view of the river and the bridge. There we go. So recently, I have found out why the bridges are painted red. It's said that such a significant uh, structure created um, takes a lot of resources uh, and a lot of manpower, a lot of man hours to build these bridges. So in order just to decorate them or, or make them stand out, they're painted red. But in costly times, 
um, the red paint or red stain was used uh, mixed with dirt and rust and water from the creeks. So then it made it easily, you know, resource to paint the bridge. So that's the next covered bridge on the list. This was Zook's Mill Covered Bridge. Let's go on to the next. Now here we are next to the last covered bridge. This is Keller's Mill covered bridge. Keller's Mill covered bridge was built in 1891, which is number 17 on Pennsylvania's covered bridges. One of the uh, covered bridges that is not red, white is an unusual color for a covered bridge in Lancaster County. In fact, this bridge is the only one of Lancaster County's covered bridges that is not painted red. This same bridge once spanned the Calico Creek at Retu Mill Road, but due to increasing traffic, it was dismantled in 2006 and reassembled here at Middle Creek Road in 2010. A new concrete span was built to, at Renew Ret, Retu Mill Road and an iron bridge at Middle Creek Road was removed. Keller's Mill Bridge is named for the family who built a house and a mill near the bridge original location. Although the bridge is now gone, the Keller House still stands at Ritu Mill Road. The first covered bridge at this site was built in 1873, but was destroyed by flood in 1891. The existing bridge was constructed by Elias McMillan, McMillan who also built the earlier bridge. <laughs> Here we've got some friends. Get some uh, sheep dogs. Hey, keeping them all in line. Let's go up and see the bridge. Looks like some uh, fresh sheared. Uh, sheep for their wool. All right. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, I know. I know. Hum, hum, hum. 
Here's the bridge. All right, so we'll continue the tour. We'll head on to the next bridge. So here we are, uh, the last covered bridge on this tour. This is the Herbs, or Herbs Mill Covered Bridge. This is number 16 of the covered bridges in Pennsylvania. Uh, this bridge was built in 1849. During the period, of thousands of people were rushing uh, to find gold in the hills in California. I guess after quite a few years the bridge de deteriorated and had to be rebuilt in 1887. Uh, in 1885, bridge viewers reported that a bridge was necessarily necessary near Samuel Herb's farm, where the Hammer Creek crossed the public road leading from the village of Rossville to the village of Lincoln. Lancaster County commissioners visited this site on May 27, 1887 and agreed to build this bridge the same season. Bridge proposals for either an iron or wooden 
bridge were advertised and this covered bridge was built in the summer of 1887 by John G. Bowman for $1,744. outside of the bridge is again red with the paint made from rust and dirt and the water that ran under the bridge here we go down Creekside get a more broad view So that seems that's our last bridge on the tour. Another scenic farm. And surprisingly, in this bridge, since it is so short, there's no little windows to see out the sides. Kind of missed that. That's Herb's Bridge, the last bridge on the tour. If you continue this tour, you will end up in a little town called Lidditz. So, see you next time. We'll go see Lidditz. Thanks so much.